said thank you thank you thank you thank you for all the support and for you all um leaving your feedback and your comments about the uh, video i did on how to buy a house with the habitat for humanity program so i just wanted to go ahead and do this highly requested video for you all i know it's been a minute my bad i've been busy i've been doing a lot of things so i finally got finally able to go ahead and make this video and plus i don't want to uh disappoint y'all and have y'all waiting forever on this video so this is the how to fix your credit video so first thing i want to do is start off with talking about collections habitat for humanity is not going to let you buy a home if you have more than a thousand dollars in collections that's it they do let you have medical bills and collections but they do not want you to have more than a thousand dollars for um um the sprint bill and collections uh forever 21 and collections your car payments being laid and you uh repossessed and that's in collection so <laughs> no don't do that right you have to get so let's say if you do have collections i had something in collections right what i recommend doing is getting creditkarma.com because creditkarma.com um shows you a list of all the people that you have in your uh that has a collection out or whatever so you're able to call that creditor directly and talk to them about ways that you can get that collections off your credit report so what i did was i loaned on creditkarma.com i saw okay i owe this person a thousand twelve hundred dollars or whatever because i had got a loan and i didn't pay it because I was wilding in these streets and trying to live my best life <clears throat> and I didn't pay it but so I just wanted to get the money and wild out for a little bit so it went to collections right what I did was and you know collections stay on your credit for seven years so if you don't pay it it's going to impact your credit for seven years and it's going to tell people that hey so and so ain't worth nothing and they don't pay their bills back so don't do nothing for them right so i called i went on credit karma i called that creditor up and i said look what can i do to get this off my report or whatever so you can call them and work out a plan with them i had the money at the time i think i had like a refund check so i went ahead and just um paid the certain amount that they wanted me to pay they said all right you owe 1200 um drop 900 right now we'll just it's done right and I said, okay, whatever. I'll just pay the 900 and I'll be done with it. So that it can get off my credit. And I needed to get it off my credit fast because I was about to close on my house soon and they were going to run my credit again, right? So um, so what happened was it wasn't on my credit when I applied. Then, after I had got approved and everything, it popped up on my credit, right? So then it's like, oh, well, if you close, one, but at the time of closing, you can't have any on, in your credit uh, in collection, you can't have more than a thousand dollars. So I had, to, I had to drop the bread right then. But it, I was just in a sticky situation or whatever. But if you're not, and you're working on trying to fix your credit, go ahead and call that creditor up. You might not have the whole amount or whatever they, the lump sum that they want. They will work out a payment plan with you and say, hey, I can pay this amount of money each month, so that I can go ahead and pay that collection off and get that off your credit report. Okay, simple, right? so number one is get those collections paid off do not let anything go to collections if you have bills or anything and you know like dang i can't keep paying this um call them and say look i can't pay 200 dollars a month on this or whatever call them and say can i work out a payment plan i'm having a hard time right now can i work something out not everybody is going to do that for you but majority of the time they you will be able to work out like say for instance like medical bills they now you they know you can't drop three bands at one time right call them and say look i can only pay 25 dollars at this time can you take this all right whatever done right you get another bill just say i can't pay this right now i don't have the funds i can pay this x amount a month and that'll be done they were to work out a plan to even before they'll send it to the elections because they still want their money, right? Right. All right. Next thing is credit cards. Credit
Credit cards are good for your credit, but they're only good if you use them the right way, right? So you don't want to have four or five credit cards maxed out because you want to go and buy um, the Balenciagas and a Gucci bag and a Gucci belt, you know what I'm saying? And some um, red bottoms. No, <laughs> save your money on those credit cards and do not use more than 30% of that credit card limit right if your credit card limit is a thousand dollars do not spend more than 30 percent on your credit report they want to see that you only use 30 percent of your um credit all your accounts so if you got all the accounts that act they're up to say you got two credit cards at five hundred dollars a piece and it's a thousand dollars they only want it between those two credit cards you only want to spend three hundred dollars so 150 on each card is the match that they really want you to spend because they don't want you to be more than 30% used, if you get what I'm saying. So, do you know why? Because it's hard as hell to pay back those maxed out credit cards, especially if you're only paying the $25 minimum payment. It's going to take forever for you to pay off those credit cards if you pay the minimum payment. What I did was I'd have, I had like four cards when I was in school um, because I was working part-time, had a kid, and I was like, well, I'm gonna get these credit cards and to hold me over, and I maxed them out. So I was just still paying the credit, um, the minimum payment. I still had those cards for like five years because I was just paying minimum payments. Then I went back and spent more money on it. Then I'm just paying minimum payments. So it never brought the limit down so what i did was i focused on one card right so we all get refund checks from the state or federal or whatever use that money wisely do not use that money to go out and buy some bundles do not use that money to go out and um ball out in the club with a section get some bottles use that money wisely i used my refund check and i went ahead and said look this card got a, a lot of money that I owe on that card. I'm going to pay a lump sum down on that card so that I can bring that limit down. That way it'll be easy for, for me to pay that card off. Then after I did that, I just focused on one card. So I said, boom, I have this one card. I'm going to focus on paying this card down first. Then I'm going to go to my next card and focus on that card and pay that down. So I was paying the minimum payment for the other cards, but I was paying extra for one card at a time. So pay more than a minimum payment when you make a payment on a card, credit card because interest, right? You pay interest on a card. Inter you make a $25 minimum payment. Interest takes out $13. Say for instance, they take out $13, okay? So only $12 is going towards the principal of the uh, credit card. So you know how long it's gonna take to pay $1,000 with $12 every month? A long time. That That's why you have to have to have to pay more than the minimum payment because there's no way that you're gonna be able to um, pay that down. And they do that on purpose. They try to set you up. They try to trick us, you know what I'm saying? Because they like, oh yeah, minimum payment, $25. You're like, oh, I can pay that. But guess what? You're going to be paying on that car forever on $1,000. And you can't use a car or nothing. Because like, if you use it, you be still going to be in debt. Years later, years later, years later. Pay more than a minimum payment if you can. If you can't, just focus on one car and pay more a little bit more. And then once you pay that down, go to your next car, focus on that, and pay that down. Don't live outside your means. If you know you can't afford to buy in cash then don't buy it on a credit card because you're not going to do anything put yourself in debt i try not like i got a credit card that's paid off and i can't even find but it's good because i try to shop i want to get something on my um for black friday i wanted to ball out on on fashion nova's 50 percent off deal but i was like nah i can't even find that credit card and the lord knew don't let me find that credit card because i was gonna spend at least $200, $300 on that credit card just because I wanted to get a lot of stuff from Fashion Nova on that sale. So, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
for being lost. Okay, next thing is um, pay your bills on time. Late payments also have a high impact on your credit. So if you know you have these bills due and you get paid every two weeks, split those. So some bills might be due at the end of the month. Some bills might be due at the beginning of the month. You need to learn how to split your checks up where, you know, boom, this amount of money right here is going to be for the check for the bills at the beginning of the month. Then this amount of money is going to be for the checks at the end of the month. So that way you'll be able to pay all your bills and not spend extra money. You know, you see what I'm saying? So you need to get all your bills and calculate a sum of how many, how much your bills are running a month. Then that way you can take half from one check, half from the other check and be able to pay all your credit card, all your bills or whatever. So make sure you pay your credit cards, light bills, uh, spectrum bills, everything on time. Did you know that Habitat for Humanity asked to see if uh, my Duke Energy bill was, or any utility bill was paid on time for 12 months? Who paid a light bill on time? Nobody pays a light bill on time. I don't even know how I got past that, but pay your bills on time it don't even matter because guess what utility bills don't even go in your credit report right until you don't pay it and it's the end in collection so nobody cares to pay them on time they get paid when they get paid before the lights get cut off right so um pay those on time because they ask to get verification that you made um payments on time for a year for your utility bill Okay, and also they ask to verify if you paid your rent on time for a year. So, you know, you got to the fifth. Always, always, always pay your rent by the fifth. Do not let it get late. Do not let it be over a month because they're going to report it, right? So, if you can't pay your rent on time, how are you going to pay your mortgage on time? Or how they know you're going to pay, pay anything on time if you can't even pay your rent on time, right? Make sure you pay your rent on time, on time, on the dot. Have that money set aside for sure because that's the same thing as buying a house. You need to be able to pay that on time. A trick you can do is, I'm just not for like rent or anything, for like a credit card or something. Say for instance, the credit card due on the 12th. You don't get paid to uh, you had to pay rent with that first check and you don't get paid again to the 20 or so. You couldn't pay that little credit card, right? You have 30 days to pay that credit card before they report it to the credit bureau. So before if any anything really, pay those bills before 30 days because on the 31st day, they're gonna report that to the credit bureau and then that's gonna affect your credit. Then 60 days go by, by or 90 days, really really affects your credit like it took me a while to come back from having late payments because in 2014 i was on some i was wilding out here in these streets like i was working out part time but i was on every scene like me and my girls was on every scene but we were broke and we had we were cute though we were broke and cute <laughs> and we had enough money to buy bottles we were broke because we were splitting Amsterdam bottles, the twelve dollar one. We was splitting how much we was gonna pay uh, a piece on the twelve dollar bottle. Yeah, wildin'. So I, I didn't, I didn't take those credit cards serious, and because of that, it really impacted my credit. Like I couldn't do anything. It, it dropped my credit down a large, like one fifty, almost two hundred points because I had late payments and it was like 30 days late and some one one or two were like 60 days. So it it really messed me up and it took me a while to build myself back up from that, okay? So you're not gonna be able to fix your credit overnight. It's gonna be a process, but you need to be able to stay focused and take the initiative to, um, to fix your credit. Uh, I fixed my credit by myself. I didn't pay anybody to do anything. I didn't. My credit wasn't bad, bad. I didn't have anything really in collections because I 
I usually pay my collections and I had another thing in collections one time. I had a sprint bill in collection because the sprint bill was like 1300 and I won't pay it and they can have that. They can take whatever I'm, what, 20? Okay, put on my, I didn't care. So I let it go to collections. I was on Facebook and I seen this girl post, um, don't pay nobody to uh, fix your credit. You can fix it yourself. And I was like, what's she talking about? So she was saying, okay, if you got a collection, um, that collection, who you at originally had got that credit with, say I originally had got it with Sprint. Sprint sold it to a collection agency to uh, collect the money from me. So then, um, so then it got sold again to somebody else, right? So the girl was like, go on all three credit bureaus and dispute it. Like, I went to equalfast.com slash dispute, experian.com slash dispute, and transunion.com slash dispute. So I went up there, I verified all my information, and did all that, and then I was like, um, I clicked on that sprint, uh, what, it was a different name, it was under something else. But it was like four years old, so I clicked on there, and I put no contract. She said, put no contract because you no longer had a contract with those. You don't have a contract with those collections agencies, right? So she was like, you had a contract with Sprint, but not with these. They done sold it two, three times. So I said, no contract. They weren't able to verify that I had that. Oh, right. So guess what? It got removed from my credit report. That's a, a collection that I didn't even have to pay because I disputed it. If something don't look right, and if something is like old, it's easy to get it disputed off your um, credit report because it's harder to verify if it's correct or not. And they only have 30 days to verify. So, tr dispute it, try it. Cause the, what's the worst they gonna do? Say no and it still be on your credit. Okay, if it still be on your credit, go ahead and pay and make a payment plan and do that. All right. Um, another thing is you can still buy your home if you have student loans. I had $36,000 in student loans, but guess what? I never let my student loans go into default. So therefore it showed that I was making satisfactory payments on that loan. I won't pay nothing because guess what? I had income driven repayment plan. And it's easier for if you have a child because then they, they say, okay, their money is basically cut in half because they gotta take care of another person. So therefore I didn't have, so it brought down my income because I had a child. So they're like, oh, well, she need to be able to provide for her child. We're gonna, I was paying $0 a month back for student loans. Yeah, the interest was still rising, but I didn't pay anything every month. Then I made, started making more money. Then it went up to like $20. Then I started making more money. Now it's like $50. So um, I'm still, not, they wanted $400 a month. Who got $400 to pay on student loans? You lucky you getting this twenty fifty dollars? Cause I, if it was up to me, I wouldn't be paying nothing. But do not let your student loans go into default, cause that will really, really mess up your credit. And they gonna take that bread. They gonna snatch them checks. They gonna take the refund check, and you gonna be sick. And then once you get into um, default, it ain't no plan at that point. They just they gonna take it. So don't let it, don't even let it get that far unnecessary things you cannot get is if it's under if it's if you don't need it to live you don't need it if it's not water food uh, your house your car you do not and just basic clothes you ain't gotta look like you about to hit the met gala or you about to be in the club buying bottles and you better let them men get them bottles <laughs> or uh, something, cause ladies, it's, it's finesse. It's it's about the finesse, okay? Don't spend your extra money on unnecessary things. You're gonna have to just cut out on them individual lashes that you're paying a hundred dollars a month to get refilled. You have to cut out them bundles that every month or every two getting them installed, the frontals, all that, it has to be cut out because you have a goal and your goal is to, I want to buy a house, so what can I do to start 
being able to buy a house. And that's that. Fix your credit and focus on that goal and you'll be able to succeed. It's not hard. It does take a little time depending on how bad your credit is. So I would just recommend focusing mostly on getting that collections out of your um out of there, right? And then start then my next step will be start paying down some of these balances. All right. Or pay them off because at the end of the day, you don't want to go into a new home and you've got a lot of bills because who you're not going to have a whole lot of extra money. So go ahead and eliminate stuff. And then that way you'll have more money to put in towards your home or more money to save a month, right? So that pretty much concludes my little video about how I fix my credit. If you have any more questions or you, um, Want me to make another video about the Habitat for Humanity program? I know people still have a lot of questions. Um, be more specific and let me know what you want to see in the comment box below. And also, you can email me or write me on Instagram at jasmine underscore rose. And I always reply back because I appreciate y'all and I want to help anybody I can help. So make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.